to Bear Grylls Extreme Environments B-Town Edition. We're here outside the Sunflower Lounge again. And I've run out of energy to even make jokes about the fact that I'm always here. <laughs> but it's snowing, so what we're going to do today uh, is really celebrate the extreme environments in which these bands exist. The police are here. That's how intense it is. Uh, and, and do you know what? It's a cold day. It's snowing in Birmingham. And Indy will prevail. So I'm repping the Sugar Thief merch. The, the wonderful wintry wonderland is uh, cascading down. We're going to talk to the four bands playing the Cosmics, <laughs> the Americas, Pink Lake and the un unbelievably mental pet. You've already seen on my channel, link going in right now. You're in the first one. <laughs> yeah. We're in pet. Yeah, plug your band, plug your band. Go follow us, pet band on Insta. It's got doxing for copyright reasons. You ain't gonna get that. And we're just gonna see what's going on. We're gonna talk about some Patrick Stakers, Cosmic Depart Irish, and capture the absolute madness. In particular, Pink Lake used to be a band called Curry Sauce, and watching them live was like watching a black hole explode in itself. So it's gonna be entertaining. And for my own safe, for my own safety, for my own health, I should probably go in the warm now because this this is this is quite cold. It's not funny though, yeah. <laughs> B-town scene, man. Oh, my hoodie's got snowed on. <laughs> Straight away, we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Um, the Irish, born, Irish born, right? Not born, not, not born, not but born. heritage. Irish right. passports. Irish passports. Passport yeah. Holders, yeah, I mean, so. uh, but aren't you gutted? You're going to miss out on the Brexit blue passports now. Oh Because really, Damn. that's what that's the, the biggest sell. Um, straight away, I can say that the Cosmics have bought me a pint of Guinness. So um, I shouldn't really be drinking it while interview because that's very unprofessional. Um, always professional. So. I will set the Guinness down, we've made the point, we drank it. But first of all, happy St. Patrick's Day. How happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, how have you celebrated the day? I slept in. Yeah. Um, just got up, put my... Put your... Orange is that... Shirt on. The other thing before we dive into the interview is that you guys don't drink. Yeah, I'm Irish. Irish. Yeah. So you're busting all the stereotypes, which I think is really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no one can, no one can be like, hey, you those ones. No, man. The fact that you're kind of Birmingham band now, you went to Birmingham Uni, right? Um, I went to BCU. You went to BCU, yeah, yeah. that's the one. Big up Scratch. Scratch Radio. Yeah, Scratch I was actually Radio. involved in that. No way, did you have a show? Yeah, I did. What was it, what was it called? Uh, the Indie Way Show. The Indie Way Show? Yeah, we just um, played a lot of indie bands. And really? Stuff. I yeah. didn't know that. What sort of day? Like? It was three years ago. Three years ago. So was that B-Town? Did you, did you no, interview no. any like Swim Deep or P-Swim? Uh, yeah, I interviewed P. So I interviewed Dive, Wolf Alice. Strange. Those are the ones. Yeah. You've got your new single out, which is I misread it as Irish free. <laughs> what, oh, yeah. what is Inish free or Irish free? Inish free. Inish is free. A, it's an island off Ireland. Ah, I thought it was. Okay. Yeah. So it's a it's a song about a cult from Ireland. Yeah. Who were around in the 1970s <laughs> and 80s. True story. True story. They live near, not far from our family in Ireland. Oh, nice. Were your family part of the cult? No. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You know. No, Geographically, they were crazy. Aware. So what they did, they used, they practiced a technique called primal screaming therapy. Yeah. Uh, so they used to swim out to the island Inish Free and just scream. They were just a bunch of hippies. Does that inspire your vocal performance then? You're yeah. like, right, screaming it out. Yeah, yeah. You've got a song for Johnny as well. Yeah. Is Johnny a real person? Johnny, think, everybody asks something this. Something about tattoos. I don't know, want to make you mine? Yeah. That's the catchy hook. Yeah, yeah. Punky. Johnny isn't real. Is he, <laughs> is he an amalgamation of many people you may have uh, oh, experienced? Well, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he's my dream man. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe he, he's all of your dream man. <laughs> when you guys are writing lyrics, is it something you do together or more? Yeah. It's a bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Connor does a few lyrics. We, oh, did, yeah. we did one together as well recently, yeah. mm. which is cool. Um, and then you always like side off doing it on your own. So that's how it kind of all started off. And then yeah, we, me and Danny just help out when we can. So. <laughs> right, Glastonbury. Yeah. Sorry, I went up a bit on the. Yeah, uh, so you're right, Tommy. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Bad angle. <laughs> 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 right, so you, you guys performed Glastonbury. Um, that happened via this one. It did, the biggest, yeah. biggest introducing spots. So you get put forward to festivals. And did you get like an email saying, you guys are going to Glastonbury yeah. and have a big old celebration? Yeah. yeah. Best day of my life. Yeah. Best day of your life. I rang Connor to say that like, we got that email and he didn't believe me. <laughs> he was like, you're being pranked. She's just crying on the phone. Oh. <laughs> Is it your kind of favourite festival, like if you could have picked one to play with that Absolutely! <laughs> it, there's no place like oh, Glastonbury, there's no yeah. festival like Glastonbury, you can't, like, you can't compare it. It's, it's out of this world. It, it's kind of upsetting that it's just bigger than where I live, and I think that's what, the, going there, I've never, I've never been there, but I get the impression that going there is the only way to understand the scale of it, that yeah. literally it's like a whole vi not town, not even a village. Exactly. It's yeah. bigger than, and being from Birmingham, like it's quite a small place, so. Being on stage as well at Glastonbury, I remember I was watching your performance and you said, come on Glastonbury. Were you kind of like waiting for your oh whole career? Oh my gosh. Come on Glastonbury. I used uh, to say it in band practice as a joke years ago. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> and then I sort of in front of a mirror, like pretending. Celtic then. Uh, you said the best moment of your life was when you found out you were playing Glastonbury. Yeah. Not when Celtic won the SBL, however many times. We've won it too many times. We've won it too many times. I'm yeah. not. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm like one of those like Celtic fans where I don't watch it. I just keep up to date on like scores <laughs> now and then. So I'm not like a proper hardcore Celtic fan. But like <laughs> when they play like big matches like in the Champions League or yeah. something. That's when I get my Celtic top out. And just, just so so you basically just, you like managed to be fan. a glory fan of Celtic. Would you guys like to play the stadium? I don't know, I could imagine. Cos <laughs> Cosmix is kind of what, punky, you kind of want to be in smaller venues like this, don't you? Yeah, yeah it's so much better. Smashing up the... I mean, you could probably get the stadium kind of smashed up, but... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's the spirit of or not. <laughs> um, I've also been... I noticed on your Twitter feed, like, you had this photo of the Cosmix logo and, like, a burnout phone box, or just a broken phone box. Yeah. <laughs> Was that kind of, in terms of like, we're looking for band promo photos, we want to get like the striking punky look, oh here's a phone box, we'll just hang on. That, <laughs> that's our Inish Free single cover, yeah, and it's, it's just, it's, we're just proper lazy, it's outside our house. Just written, just <laughs> literally outside your house? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just what? You just did it. You just did it. It's just easy. It's kind of the, the minimum distance that you need to go to get the photo. It's about yeah. ten steps, really. Yeah, it is. So we're yeah. like, why don't we just do something so close to home? <laughs> No, I remember. No, no, no. I was but, okay, so, Look at those fists getting ready. <laughs> what, I, I don't even feel banned. What I said is, when there are when there are girls in a band, yeah. everyone wants to be like, oh, so your girls, girls. Are, your girls in a band rather than you're a band. Oh, I could be a man. So I guess a big part of like what you guys are singing about, like you're saying feminism and. Here's the basis. Was, sorry, bro. The basis of oh, getting in your way, bro. Sorry, bro. Oh, thank you. Just browsing. Browsing. Let's go find Abish. 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 Let's go find Abish.
The best spank of the <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to get knocked out. Who put that there? I don't know. Yeah. Abby, is that the craziest game you've ever done? One of them, yeah. Apart from the craft fair we played that, one. Yeah, the craft fair with all the grannies was mental. The grannies. Oh, right now, one guy. So, there's loads of like girls in the crowd as well, so do you feel like that's real about female empowerment? Like, you're singing about it anyway, and you're so much power in it, and then there's girls like Most jumping people in front. really happy, because I know I've been in Tottenham's scene for a while, and like Kate's girl, one of my favourite yeah. bands. And um, I remember when I went, I was the only girl there. Exactly. So it was nice. And I could see you smiling so much on stage, you were thinking like reacting to that. And, do you think there's a reason why there isn't more girls in bands in Birmingham? Because I noticed there's, you, you would think there'd be a more balanced... It's hard. It is because... A lot of the music is very female. Yeah. Yeah. Very different. A lot of the music that we produce well, is something that's commonly associated with men anyway. Why is there more women? Why is there more women? Just after the question was. Not to um, yeah, you know, Spice Girls as a cover in punk. <laughs> do you feel like that's you guys making that song into a punk song? Or yeah, definitely. No, but you want to make Spice Girls as well. Or do you feel like it's ready to be a punk song already? It's because that's the thing, it works so well and I never would Yeah, the lyrics are sick, but you listen to it, it's so impressive. So girl power. Yeah, it's, it's just empowerment. Oh, like, oh look at these rap friends. Support. <laughs> Where are you gonna put that? Yo, I wanna, I wanna buy a sticker quickly. Oh, what an angel! You, want you said you didn't have a pound when you entered chat. I didn't, and well, then I, I bought a beer, and now I've got a pound. Lying bastard! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jimmy to pee. Get Jez yeah, out. I've yeah. got a cardboard. Thank bag. you. Jeremy Kyle, I'll bring him next time. Yeah, she's got a cardboard cut out of Jeremy Kyle. Really? Yeah. At Rosie's nightclub, we it's have a thing called Rosie's yeah, nightclub. Yeah, we've got. We're gonna. What's Rosie's nightclub? It's in a living room. It's mine. A living room. We've got like full on disco lights to go to the time in the evening. Jeremy Kyle, like. Is your, is, is your end goal to get Jeremy Carl DJing then? Yeah, look, he's on doors. A Jeremy Carl DJ set, so that could be good. Yeah, man. I love the set. What do you think of the set? Do you I like the set. band? Oh, I love the band in the band. Are they nice to you or are they a bit mean? Uh, she's bullying me a lot. Why? She won't let me have snacks. <laughs> As in nothing broke or anything like that, crazy or... Yeah. You're making kind of like shoegaze music, so is it even about turning it down or is it about just being... <laughs> Artistic expression. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite early days of Pink Lake as a band, that's like your second or third second, second show. Do you, think anger, do you think anger is really important for the like creative process in music? Yeah. It depends on the point of music. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. It can be calm. It could be feeling like Oh, feel free to come in. It's, it's a video. Yeah, are, are you in a band or just. I'm just a, I'm just a fan, isn't it? A fan of Pink Lakes, <laughs> aren't we all? Because I think. How are you doing that, yeah? That, that is was, the man in the town. It was so sick, good. wasn't it? It's always dank, and it was so dank. I was saying, there we go. How are you doing? The last time. This is our guitar. This is our guitar. The last time. Well, it's not last time. I saw you topless at Reading Festival once. Do you remember? Oh, you Do you remember that? I don't yeah? remember that. Well. There you go. I don't remember. I saw you, and you were like, you were a bit. You were a little not moment. unaware. You were in the, in, the in the moment. In the moment. In the moment. You guys have like such a big sound. Like we were watching you do the warm up, and I was saying, I've never heard, honestly, at some part lounge when you were doing that sound check, the kind of ambience that hit the room. That is something I've kind of been searching for. Exactly. A bit of Joy Division maybe if you're thinking like atmosphere. And like. They're very mellow songs but then people suddenly, like there's a drop and people go, people go, people go crazy. <laughs> Do you, how much is the lyrical content important to you? Because it's always very abstract, I think. It's, it's just abstract. <laughs> You're just... I'll write, I'll write something, I'll write something, something and I'll think, oh, sh**, it's actually it's like, too real. It's real. cringy. It's cringy. Yeah. The reason why it's cringy is because it actually speaks to your heart. Oh, you, you speaks to your heart. Disney, you Disney Channel, Pink Lake. <laughs> you write something. Pink Lake, Disney Channel. Started. In the curry sauce days, which we can't talk about. No, we, we can. Let, let's we can. Go, let's go. So back, back a year ago, how did you enjoy the wonderful curry sauce? Hasbro 
How is the broke, mash of sound? It broke me down. People and, laying on the ground. It broke me down and rebuilt me as a person. It changed who I was. It exposed my soul. Very drunk. Just very, very drunk. Do you think it's more important the meaning that you put into it or what people interpret? It doesn't matter. There's no Oh, so you also tune. You're just a fake one. <laughs> Pets are running in the street. Stop being punky and running in the street, pet. Well, you might have just. You guys just ran into the road oh, every single time. I'm just like me. Yeah, you think that. Don't you think that. You know, don't you think he looks like George Michael? George Michael. He does. I told you this. I told you this when I was. Before I told you this, I'm always getting Yeah, no comment. Go on, go on. Shoe gaze, it's violent. Ted's just so. You said you were shoe gaze. They said they were shoe gaze. I don't know. Oh, okay. One of violent. Hello, Violet. Are you guys up representing again? Do you remember if you, if you got still got the Sugar Thief match? I didn't get one. I knew the one who didn't get one. I was already get one. <laughs> it's not yet. Yeah, nothing came out with that. We need a dream pop name. He just typed in. We need a color name. We need a color name. We need a color name. It's so hard to be cool. Hey, hey, sorry, it's Tim's cool. So you know all about it, Tim. Right. It's so hard to be called. Cool. Coming from Tim's center, <laughs> it's so hard to be called cool when you're Tim's center. What happens on my Instagram story is nothing to do with anything. Wait, are you doing a cover of uh, that? Uh, no, 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 It's not about me, it's about the fans. He, start, he started singing. Well, yeah, I yeah they were trying to be so I know, and he was Tim Senna's Instagram. Yeah, I was like, yeah. If you want to follow my Instagram, it is Tim Senna, S E N N A. And it's, it's good content. Nice Quality content. Thank you. Pink Lake, everybody. It's so f***ing cold, man. So you wanted to have a Danny O'Donnell print on your drum kit, but you thought it might be a bit awkward if you if you saw him because he was going to come to a show. You were saying no, no, no. Okay, no. <laughs> I was, was that a joke? I'm disappointed a joke. now.